Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with the top 10 cartoons of 2017 being released in 2018. Yeah, I know some of you guys requested this video, so I had to make sure I got it out before it got too late into the year. Before I tell you my top 10 cartoons of 2017, let's take a look back on what happened in the cartoon world. Regular Show had six episodes in 2017 and closed the series with a pretty great finale. They had been building up this plot line for quite a long time and I think the show could have kept going but it's nice that it got to conclude. Clarence, a show that I really enjoyed, was announced to be ending in 2018 alongside Adventure Time. Cartoon Network rolled out a month of premieres for shows like The Amazing World of Gumball and We Bear Bears. I really enjoyed the quick little New Amazing World of Gumball in February tune. OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes premiered on Cartoon Network and according to the network it was a hit. Not sure if that's true or not. Samurai Jack returned to Cartoon Network on Adult Swim with one final season to end the show off. This final season of Samurai Jack was a lot more mature compared to previous seasons. Rick and Morty returned with a season 3 that left fans asking, where's season 4? And why wasn't that episode the season finale. Star vs. the Forces of Evil got a TV movie and I watched the whole show. Disney had a new Spider-Man cartoon and DuckTales returned with a 24-hour marathon of the same episode. The creator of The Loud House, Chris Zavino, was fired for sexual harassment. Welcome to the Wayne seemed to be popular with fans online, but did not seem to be loved by Nickelodeon. Fans were asking for the next episode a lot. The creator of Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom had a new show by the name of Bunsen is a Beast, which actually did pretty bad and ended fairly fast. Oh, and Teen Titans Go! had marathons. Like, week-long marathons. And that's what happened in the cartoon world in 2017. With that out of the way, let's move right on. Number 10. Regular Show. I can't believe that I still had trouble finding 10 cartoons this year. Can't people just make better cartoons? I mean, regular show ended in 2017 and I thought the finale was pretty good. I don't want to spend time talking about every single little thing as I have some form of review or discussion for every show on this list. While regular show was a great cartoon, I don't think six episodes is enough to justify it being on the list. We ran into the same problem in 2016 where people thought Gravity Falls deserved a high ranking despite only having one episode in 2016. Regular show concluded well and jumped the shark with this finale as it killed off a major character. It's been over a year so I don't think I need a spoiler alert for that. It seemed like the show was getting to the point where they were running out of ideas but who really knows. I think it could have kept going with another season. This show has a timeless vibe. And that's just why I think Regular Show could have kept going. And it's actually coming back in comic book format. So check it out. Number 9. Adventure Time. I actually intended for Adventure Time to be much higher on my list, but more cartoons came out. I watched more episodes, and Adventure Time had to be knocked down a little bit on my list. Adventure Time's overall quality to me is just alright. The main reason I wanted to have Adventure Time so high on my list was due to the great Adventure Time Island special which explores why the world is the way that it is. I did not like the Elemental special because for the most part, the special starts off in a bad place for the characters and everything is solved by the end except one thing. I will say that some of the newer episodes remind me of classic Adventure Time, which is great, but it's a little too late for the show. I thought Son of Rap Bear was a terrible episode and the show needs to stop with the raps. They're not cool anymore. I liked some episodes, didn't like others. That's why this show is low on my list. The ending of the show is long overdue. Stop delaying it, Cartoon Network. Put this show out of its misery. Number 8. We Bear Bears. We Bear Bears has been pretty consistent with its quality from the beginning. It was a good show when it started and it's still a good show. I will say that the show has evolved its main cast of characters and side characters to have their own lives and own worlds. The bears share friends, but they definitely all have a human or animal friend that they're more close with. There isn't much to talk about here, but Ice Bear's past was given more hints. Panda's backstory was revealed and I thought it was depressing. Think about life 
from the perspective of an animal that's locked up in a zoo. That's pretty dark. Sorry, didn't mean to go all PETA on you guys. Anyways, number seven, the amazing world of Gumball. What the heck? One of my favorite shows on Cartoon Network is only at number seven. Yeah, 2017 was a pretty good year for cartoons. So, so Gumball actually made fun of a copy of their show in an episode entitled the episode The Copycats. And I love how self-aware this show is. I've seen it being described as a show like Family Guy before, and I can see it. It's definitely different, but Gumball likes to have a lot of fun with its jokes. There's even a Catfish episode. The Stars is a good episode. They go around raiding everyone in that episode. They worked with Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared on an episode. Gumball is making moves, people. I see videos of the show being shared around. One episode that I did not like in 2017 was the news, which focused on a news crew for the entire episode. The main reason Gumball is so low on my list is because I got behind on the show, I tried getting caught up, and I wasn't enjoying what I was watching. This could be because I watched the episodes right after each other. When I'm watching these cartoons, I normally have a break and watch other cartoons, I watch live action shows, I watch whatever comes out for that week, so normally that's what goes on and that could be part of the issue why I put Gumball so low on my list. And as I was watching Gumball, at one point I felt like stopping. So that's why the show is so low for me in 2017. It's still a high quality show, but is Gumball getting too long? Number 6, Rick and Morty. A while ago I was wondering if I should put adult cartoons on my list or give them their own list. There aren't many adult cartoons that deserve to be on my top 10 list so I decided to combine the two lists. Rick and Morty returned with season 3 in 2017 and boy, my friends and I discuss this every week. That's how you know a show is popular. I've already done a review of Rick and Morty season 3 that you can watch and I'll just say that season 3 wasn't that amazing. Pickle Rick was hyped up and was a letdown. The Vindicators 3 is one of my favorite episodes of Rick and Morty of all time. I don't care what you say Dan Harmon, the Rick Lantis mix-up is the best episode of Rick and Morty hands down due to the character that returned and how well the writers were able to handle multiple plots in one episode. The ABC's of Beth was the worst episode of Rick and Morty to date and the show did very well for Adult Swim and I hope to see season 4 eventually. Number 5. Okay KO Let's Be Heroes. Cartoon Network literally spammed this show. This show had 52 episodes for its first season and 42 of those episodes aired in 2017. Calm down guys, give them time to animate and write the show. The show did a good job by having a beautiful action scene in its first episode. The show is episodic-ish, with plots sprinkled in there. Personally, I think they could have gone with a more story-driven approach, but the show is definitely good. I like how everyone in their world has a power level, and the beginning episodes introduce people with their power levels. And the show has a lot of good episodes, so I would definitely recommend watching OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes if you haven't watched the show already. Number 4, Clarence. Clarence did something pretty crazy in 2017. It actually got rid of a character. Kind of. Sumo ends up transferring schools and is now left out of the school plots in Clarence. Clarence had a fantastic special in the Clarence's Stormy Sleepover Special, which I highly suggest watching. There was an episode where Clarence is in the car while his mom is shopping, and that kind of made me think back. Clarence keeps getting better, and I just wish people would notice how good the show is. I don't know what I can do for the show, but I just want more people to love it the same way that I do. Number 3. Steven Universe. What? Steven Universe is number one almost every year on this channel. What the heck is going on? Steven Universe never airs on TV. I don't know why Cartoon Network made this decision, but I have to live with it. I thought the Steven Universe Out of This World story arc was alright. 
I thought more could have been done there. Steven Bomb 6 was somewhat better. I have a full discussion on that on my channel. The Steven Universe Wanted special was the best special for the year because of the trial and the fact that a character dies in that. After that, Steven Universe took a very long break in May and returned in December. Cartoon Network, please give this show a normal airing schedule. I'd rather have one episode a week than have a drought throughout most of the year. Steven Universe isn't bad by any means, but it's getting to the point where I feel like it's dancing around the plot. This show is on season five, and we still don't know a lot about the world for some reason. Number two, Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack returned with a brand new season, and it was intense. As with Rick and Morty, Samurai Jack was another weekly discussion topic for me and my friends. The story takes place 50 years after the original series, and Jack is still in the future. He hasn't aged at all, but he has become more brutal. This season really explores Jack's character. He's crazy, but not completely crazy. Overall, this season was pretty great, but I didn't like the finale. It could have been an hour-long special, and most of Season 5 is not Jack vs. a coup. So that, that's a little weird. Apparently, plot lines from the original series were just dropped and never completed for this final season. I never finished the original Samurai Jack, but I thought this was a lot better than what came before. Jack talks more, the plot goes on from episode to episode, this is the type of cartoon that I like. So if Samurai Jack were to come back, I'd want more of this. Most definitely. Now, my number one show is something that you would call a star. Things are about to get a little weird. A little wild. My number one show of 2017 isn't from around here. It's from another dimension. Number one. Star vs. the Forces of Evil. This is the best cartoon on TV, and frankly, it's one of the best cartoons I've seen in a very long time. Originally, I tried watching the show when it first came out, and I quickly gave up. That was stupid of me. Star vs. the Forces of Evil is fantastic. If there's anything I want you to take from this video, it's to watch this show. I watched most of this show in 2017, and I freaking love it. Do I think it's better than Steven Universe? Heck yeah, it's actually going somewhere. It doesn't waste time. I love Star and Marco. They have great chemistry together, and you can really see the show exploring which characters work and which don't. I think the main cast of characters and side characters are finalized in season two. Lots of great characters. The show improves as it goes on. I like the romance in the show. I like the story in the show. It's so good. I have reviews for all three seasons out, so you could say I like it a lot. So those were my top 10 cartoons of 2017. I'm sorry that this video came out so late. I had intended to do this right at the beginning of 2018, but it's April now, and all I can say is sorry. What did you think about my list? What's your personal list? of the top 10 or top 5 cartoons for 2017. Is there a show that you really like that I missed? Be sure to tell me that and more in the comments below. Don't forget the next video will be your top 10 cartoon from the poll that I posted in 2017. I wonder how different it will be from my list. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm Sermo11, see you next time, and peace out. Hey, where's Miraculous? What the f***?